Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A very important question I get asked a lot about is hosting and where I'm hosting my ANA in. I feel like there's a lot of confusion about where and how to host and ultimately what is the best option for you. And in this video, I'll show you three cost effective ways to self host your ANA in workflows. And at the end, I'll give a full cost breakdown for you to make the best decision for your situation. So if you're tired of execution limits, want complete control over your environment, or you're just looking to reduce costs as much as possible, this video is for you. Today, I'll walk through setting up three separate ways to self host your NA DIN. We'll go through Alessio, Railway, and Docker. These three will give you complete control of your automation platform. And by the end of this video, you'll understand the pros and cons of each and how to set them up. So by the end, you'll have a self hosted version of NA DIN without breaking the bank. And stick around to the end to get the full cost breakdown. So if you've made it this far, I'm sure you understand the cloud hosted version of NA DIN and the plans that go along with it. You can even hop over to their website. You'll see that they're pretty explicit with their prices. And the true benefit of the cloud hosted version is how easy they make it to get started. With a few clicks, you can be up and running, starting your own workflows. You'll see that on a monthly plan, it comes out to around $25 a month for 2.5 workflows, five active workflows, only one shared project. And for their pro, this would be for a even bigger operation with more shared projects with three, 10K workflow executions and 15 active workflows. So we'll kind of break down this video as two separate buckets manage self hosted options with Alessio and Railway. And lastly, we'll go into the Docker setup. So let's go ahead and jump just directly into Alessio. Alessio is a managed hosting platform for open source applications such as NADEN. And they do have a free trial option. You'd be able to try it out and see what you think of it for yourself. So let's go ahead and click the free trial. And they give you multiple different sign in options Google, GitLab, GitHub. And the sign-in process is pretty easy. Just put in your credentials, and then you'll get met with secondary authentication to check your email. And once you get the email, you may have to check your spam. I did have a problem when I initially signed up with it going to spam, but perhaps they fixed that issue and I'll just verify email. And you will be met with the dashboard of Lestio. You see that they have multiple different options. As I said, this is a managed hosting platform for all open source applications. So anything open source, you'll probably be able to self-host with Alessio, such as Postgres, Kafka, and NADEN. You can go ahead and search NADEN here, and they have a NADEN instance natively within Alessio. You can select, and you'll see that it gives you different options for the service cloud provider, Hetzner, which we'll be using in this video, AWS, Yaleway. You'll also need to select the region, now I'm in America. And then it also gives you ability to select a service plan. Now don't worry if you select the wrong one or you need additional capacity, you will be able to change this within your project. You'll also notice on the right that it gives you the estimated hourly price and the monthly price, which is the monthly average of it running 24 seven. So you won't need to worry about whenever you're closing this down that your execution stop running. So if you make a workflow active and have it connected to any service, your executions and workflows will continue to run even if your machine is off. So I'm gonna go with the small service plan. I'm gonna go and click next and you'll be able to give it a name here, 20, the admin email, and then you'll also be able to have different support levels. This will be really important if you want to scale and have other people using your workflows, you will want to have some sort of level support. I'm gonna go with level one support and you will need to add a card for this. So I'm gonna go ahead, add my card credentials. And once that is set up, you'll make it to this where your Alessio account is under review. And Alessio is very good about sending email notifications about your projects. So you'll see, hey, your card has been successfully linked. Your account is currently being reviewed. It will be active in a few minutes. So now literally minutes, maybe even seconds, my account was verified. So we can hop back over to our Alessio dashboard. Now, once you have your payment authorized, you'll need to add credits to your account to be able to fully deploy this service. And how to do that, you would go to account, add credits, and then you'll be able to add funds here. And you can go ahead and click create service. And this may take a second. You'll then be brought to this screen, which is the services tab within your project that you created. You can also create more projects and create more services within those projects. You can click into this project and this will be your dashboard and overview of the behind the scenes of your project. So once it's fully set up, you'll have your config file here, be able to restart, change versions. And Alessio is really good at updating to the latest in version, versions. So you will not need to have any problem doing that. It will do it automatically and it'll send you an update saying your NADN project has been successfully updated to the latest version. You'll also be able to manage custom domains. And you'll see the network and addresses here. So this will be the URL that the NADN is running on. You can copy that and paste it in. 
and you'll be met with the normal sign up process that you're used to. You'll only have to sign in once. One thing that I will go over is if you are trying to use the famous MCP tool within N8N, you'll need to update your configuration file here and you'll keep it in Docker Compose. And just scrolling down just under this payload size, you'll paste in N8N community package allow tool usage is set to true. And that will allow you to use the MCP community node. And you'll obviously need to update and restart from there. So now that we covered Alessio and we saw that it's around $20 a month, which is already saving you $5 a month, let's jump into Railway. You'll see here that Hobby Plan is $5 a month plus its usage cost. And Railway is a platform as a service, so slightly different from Alessio, but even simpler to be able to deploy. So I'm going to go to railway.com. The easiest way to do this, you will need a GitHub account if you don't have one already. I highly encourage getting GitHub as it's going to be helping you a ton if you're just now starting this no code development journey. You'll need to get one eventually, so might as well just do it now. And we can go to their pricing tab first, and we see that they have a hobby plan for $5 a month, 8 gigs of RAM, which is more than less geo, single developer workspace. And then they also have a $20 a month pro plan, 32 gigs of RAM unlimited team seats, 30 day log history. However, this hobby plan is good enough for most of you. So let's go ahead and choose the hobby plan and you can sign up with GitHub. And once you're in, your dashboard will look very similar to this. And you will need to sign up for a plan to be able to successfully do this. And it is a $5 charge upfront. So once you've got your plan set up, you can go to new. And then once you're in here, you can deploy the template. And you'll see that if you search in it in, there's a lot of different Templates to be able to choose from. We're going to do in a in with workers. You can go ahead and click deploy. And this could take a second. And once you get to this page, it kind of comes a little bit messed up, but then you'll see that it's applying some changes. And once it's finally finished setting everything up, you can click into the primary and see that the deployment was successful. And this is pulling directly from the in a in GitHub repo that in a in itself manages. So anytime that you're going to need to update to a newer version, go here, click these three dots and click redeploy. And it will automatically update to this image that it's pulling in. You can click this URL and you will log in just like regular. Now, lastly, we are going to talk Docker. And Docker is a self-hosted option, which will require a little bit more setup and a little bit more technical expertise and a little bit more time. So you can see that I have a completely empty Docker here. And I'm just going to go to the Git clone from N8N to be able to to install a complete N8N starter kit. Let's just go over to github.com forward slash N8N dash IO, and you'll land here on N8N's GitHub. You'll wanna scroll down and get to these pinned posts here. And you can see a self-hosted AI starter kit. We'll click that. You'll see that what's included, self-hosted N8N, Olama, Quadrant, Postgres. You don't have to do it this way. You can just totally get only the self-hosted in it in, but this the ease of use of doing this all in one tutorial. So you see they have instructions here for just cloning the repository. And then if you have a NVIDIA GPU, AMD, or a Mac, and I'm running this on a Mac, so I'm going to follow these instructions here. I'm going to search terminal, and I'm gonna bring my terminal up, and I'm going to paste this git clone. I'm going to run this, and it's gonna be cloning all the files within that GitHub repository. You see it's done, and you just need to change the directory to, to the repository that we just downloaded. AI starter kit. You can just do docker compose up, and you'll see it will be making this docker image for us. Perfect. So you see it downloaded files for us, quadrant, n8n, all the ones that it said it was going to include in this n8n starter kit. You can open up our docker, and as you can see, we now have all of the proper images in there. And now that we have these in our Docker images, we can go over to our containers. We see we have a self-hosted container here and it is running. We can go back to Google, go localhost 5678, go to that, and you can go ahead and sign up here. So now that we have all those set up and you've likely picked the best one for you or you waited to the end of the video to see the cost breakdown, you can know that the N8N cloud version is the simplest and easiest way to get started. And being around $25 a month with zero maintenance, Alestio is a managed service that gives you more granularity on location on where that's being hosted. It also updates to the latest version for you as a very intricate dashboard to be able to have complete control over everything that you're doing with your setup and environment. Railway is a very simple deployment with five minute setup, built in scalability. However, you will need to update your image based on latest updates from N8N. And Docker 
While it does require a little bit more technical expertise, there is no limit to complete control. However, with that complete control, you will have to know a little bit more hands-on about running images, containers, and hosting that yourself. So if you don't want to deal with running your images, containers, and hosting it yourself, you should probably look to doing either Alestio or Railway. You don't want the complete granularity control over all aspects of your build as it's given in Alestio, then Railway is likely the simple deployment and it's also the cheapest. So opening up the pricing, like we said, in 8 Cloud, around $25 a month or 60 if you want to have more projects, have more executions and active workflows. Alestio, around $20 a month. For the two gigs of ram if you wanted to build this a little bit bigger it would be forty dollars and it is a cost per hour pricing whereas railway is five dollars a month for a twenty dollars a month pro plan and then docker even though it's free you will have to host it as well as have a url with it and that will end up being probably around five to fifteen dollars a year depending on who you set that up with and how you set it up and guys that's it for today's video hope you really enjoyed it if you like this content got any value from it like, subscribe, join the community, which will be linked below. And until then, see you guys.